This little creeping plant is known as Peperomia Hoffmanii, and this is what's just one of the many Peperomias that I get from Steve's Leaves, and it was probably one of the first 10 to 15 pe pe Peperomia that I ended up bringing home, and I have to admit, I've actually lost a couple of these, and I had been growing it on my bookshelf in my, just a little bit further away from my southwest facing window, and it just always seemed to kind of dry out, lose its leaves, and now I think I'm successfully growing it underneath a fluorescent light in my northeast facing window. So it, I would say it's about mm, maybe eight, roughly eight or nine inches below a fluorescent light. And then about, I would say 10 inches away from a northeast facing window, although it gets blocked a little bit by uh, some of the other plants that are around it because it is a, a, a smaller plant. But this has been going strong now for about eight to nine months, I would roughly say. And even though I've been growing like Peperomia hoffmanii for several years, I would just, in, in, the, uh, in my southwest facing windows, it would just get a little bit too much light. So I would say giving this a little bit more medium or high indirect or bright indirect light is going to be great for this plant. You'll also notice that it's starting to flower and it has a really tiny little Peperomia flower right here. You could barely see it if I put my finger on it right there. Um, so this is a little bit tinier than most, but it's also got a really, really tiny leaf. Now I've seen this growing in one of the restaurants near my, um, near my home. And it is also, they have, they have one that's like really thick and clambering and it also seems a little bit more chlorotic, but it's closer to a window. So I'd say that if you start to see it going a little yellow, then it could be maybe a nutrient deficiency or it could be that you're giving it a little bit too much light. This is a plant that is typically creeping along the rocks and the moss, moss and grounds. Um, so, you know, giving that kind of more moderate light or kind of dappled light, if you go bright light, then I would definitely go a little bit more indirect. That's what this plant is probably looking for. And it's actually native all throughout South America. So you could see it throughout Colombia, Ecuador, um, Peru, and, uh, and it's a relatively easy one to propagate, although I'm not really set up for propagating this plant. Probably the best way is actually cutting some of the stems because the, uh, the leaves on this one are, are particularly not as succulent as like say an obtusifolia and, um, or a polybotria. And I think having a little bit more of the stem and not just the petiole is going to be better for being able to propagate this plant. Now with my peperomia, I usually just put it on a fertilizing schedule during the growing season on a bi-weekly basis. So typically a 10-10-10 or a 1-1-1, depending on whether I'm going organic or the synthetic route. And um, otherwise, you know, that's what I could share with you and how I'm growing this, but I'd love to hear how you're growing them in your home and what your experiences have been with Peperomia Hoffmanii.